Overall, the facelifted Mazda CX-5 is still a well-rounded family SUV. The brand's chassis changes have made it more comfortable to live with on a daily basis. The styling tweaks have added a little more curb appeal. And when considered alongside its rivals, the price really doesn't seem to match the level of equipment and quality you're getting. Only complaint is the engine's lack of torque, but that just gives you an excuse to exercise the car's excellent manual gearbox. The CX-5 is one of Mazda's best-selling cars in the UK. It accounts for around 25% of the company's total volume and played an instrumental role in boosting the brand's sales by almost 14% between 2020 and 2021. There are plenty of other likable family SUV to choose from, such as the class-leading seat Aka, the Skoda Kirok, and the recent replacement for the Nissan Qashqai. In addition to maintaining Mazda's record-breaking sales performance throughout 2022, the facelifted CX-5 has to beat back a newer competitor from the brand that practically invented the family SUV segment. The CX-5 is arguably a more comfortable place to be than its rivals. The cabin is very well screwed together, and all of the materials within your wingspan feel stout and premium. Hammer a button on the dashboard and the switch panel won't move a millimeter. It certainly doesn't feel cheap, but more on that later. There are new dampers, slightly softer springs and redesigned seats that offer a little more support, and for the most part, we'd say Mazda's efforts have been worthwhile. It makes for a decent motorway cruiser. The suspension changes even filter out more road noise, too. Mazda expects the middling sport variant to be the best seller in the UK. Prices start from 30,765 PS, which is a few hundred pounds more than you'll pay for mid-range versions of the Nissan Qashqai and C8 Aka. You get plenty of equipment with 19-inch alloy wheels, a reversing camera, electric sunroof, electrically adjustable front seats, and an electric tailgate, all coming as standard on sport model. The equivalent seat Aka FR doesn't get any of this equipment as standard. The electric tailgate, for example, only hits the spec sheet on the flagship Experience Lux model. The engine also leaves a little to be desired. Equipped with Mazda's naturally aspirated 2.0-liter Skyactiv-G engine, which is the same base engine you'll find in the smaller CX-30 crossover. You do get more power on the CX-5, 163 horsepower, compared to 120 horsepower on the CX-30, but it's still not enough to get the CX-5 out of its own way. 